Installing fans might initially seem like a straightforward process when building your first PC. However, you might be surprised to learn that fans should be installed in a specific way. As while you might assume you can just pop on any old spinny boy and go to town with your screwdriver, it's well worth stopping first to see which way your fan is supposed to be installed. Howdy howdy, it's Michael from Thermaltake Australia, and this is your PC's airflow configuration explained. So if we were to get right up close on one of these bad boys, you'll notice that most fans will have an imprint that informs you of which way the airflow should go through it. And we'll want to utilize our fans in their intended way, as it's with this information that you can begin to come to decisions on how you'd like the air to travel through your PC. Because if you were to install them in any old way without a second thought, you might accidentally create some radically different airflow effects within your case. But for those that are willing to deliberately configure the airflow within their case, you'll want to be across the three main configurations that builders opt to use, each dependent on the size of the cases being utilized and the desired outcome. The first being a positive airflow configuration, in which the fans work together to bring in more air from outside as opposed to primarily removing it out. This is a great config for minimizing dust buildup, but comes with the caveat that it can cause heat to build up, as the fans will now have a harder time removing warm air. So a positive airflow is beneficial for larger cases or someone who's happy to avoid the hassle of opening their rig, utilizing the pre-installed fans in their case, as most are manufactured with positive airflow in mind. The next is a negative airflow config, where the fans obviously do the opposite, exhausting more air than they allow in. This method is better at getting rid of warm air, however, extra dust is built up, and thus your PC's insides must be attended to more regularly. So a negative airflow is beneficial for something like a mini ITX case with a sandwich layout. Lastly, there's airflow configurations that opt for a neutral pressure, which is probably the most common. As you can imagine, with this config, there's an even amount of cool air coming in and warm air going out. This is a safe, reliable, all-round preference and will do the job for your average mid-tower case, providing good airflow and a medium level of urgency for constant maintenance to avoid dust buildup. If you're looking to install a ludicrous number of fans for aesthetics, this is the option for you. Hey, how you doing? Don't answer that. Um, just checking. Have you have you subscribed to the to the channel? I'm just curious because a lot of you aren't subscribed. And look, we 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 love you. We want you to be subscribed. We want you to join our Thermal Take ANZ community. So if you haven't already, just just press the button. Just, just it's free. You can undo it anytime. Just give it a click. You doing it? Uh, you, it just, I thought you might be doing it. You doing it? Right. You've already done it. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you. Um. Anyway, uh, I'll see you later. Now, as for which one you'll want to opt for if you're considering building for the first time, we recommend setting up the fans on your case so that cool air can come in from the front of your PC and be exhausted out from the back and top of it. After all, heat rises. Paired with a couple of dust filters or with a case that incorporates a mesh design, this should minimize the possibility of massive dust buildup while still optimizing cool airflow. However, do remember that pesky dust is inevitable no matter how optimized your airflow configuration is. So be sure to give your case a quick clean every three months or so to ensure that your parts and fans remain running at the peak of their performance for longer. So with this now in mind, you should have a better understanding of just what exactly is happening within your PC. Don't be afraid to get right in there if you're unsure of how airflow has been configured within it. Maybe you just realized that your fans have been put in the wrong way from when you installed them way back when, you slippery seal. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave us a like, and if you have any thoughts or comments on what was discussed today, leave them down in the comments section below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. Also, while you're still here, be sure to check out either of these thermal take videos that are floating above me. And hopefully this outro wasn't as painful to watch as my last one. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.